Hey guys, Devin with Zero Line Golf, and we're here going to talk about peak time and how it works in the golf swing and how it works in the application. There's been quite a few questions on how do I improve my peak time or what is peak time and why is it important. So first of all, what is peak time? Peak time is where the pelvis reaches its max speed between the top of the backswing and impact. So where that is in time is vital as far as hitting a golf ball solid. So if we look here at this other diagram, we've got the pelvis right between the top of the backswing and impact where it reaches max speed, right? And where ideal would be, and this is a great kinematic sequence, is about 60% of the way through the forward swing from the top of the backswing through to impact. So about 60% of the way through is where ideal peak time is. And the reason why that is important or why 60% of the way through is what we're shooting for is it gives time for the trunk the arms, and then ultimately the club to fire. So there's a sequence or a chain reaction of events that happen here, and the pelvis has a lot to do with how those work in order. So in the application, we measure it. In the chart view, you're gonna see a blue line put up about 60% of the way through each time to show you where ideal peak time is. If you're relatively close to that, you're doing great. Some things that you might wanna do is as far as if you're to the point of assessing your own swing, is first look at if you're over-rotating your pelvis or not. If you're over rotating and let's say you're at 55 or 60 degrees of rotation in the backswing and you're struggling with peak time, try and shorten it up and get it into around 40, 42, 45 degrees. And that might be a great place to start. The other thing that we need to make sure that our peak time is good is good acceleration, right? And good deceleration is gonna give us that peak. Now getting good deceleration early enough is gonna come from some of the drills you're gonna see. What happens is, is when the upper body starts to fire, the lower body has a better chance of stabilizing earlier in time. So it's not about slowing your pelvis down to get a better peak time. Do not try and slow down. What you want to do is have the segments above, say your trunk or your arms, start to really engage and fire to get a better peak time. That's what the drills are designed for in the application. If you could, just keep those up, keep practicing them, keep an eye on your peak time because it's going to make a huge difference in how well you hit a golf ball. Thanks again. If you have more questions, please feel free to contact us on Twitter and Facebook or even leave a message below on our YouTube channel. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon.